Can I help you, Kubo? Nope, you just helped us save, so we're absolutely fine. Thank you very much, Kubo. Alright, moving on up. Time to get ready. Time to leave the city. Board the airship. Alright, we're saved, we're safe, we know what we're doing. We know where we're going. Got all the things ready. I'll wait here while I ask the people inside if we can hitch a ride. I, I, I shall go ask them. Oh, really? How come? It is not for your benefit. I, I'm only doing this for the princess. Steiner, I was so adamant about going back to the castle before. Hmm. An airship full of barrels like the ones I saw at the castle. Steiner was against going. Arson boy, is this ship really heading for Lidlum? <laughs> no, it's probably taking us to straight to Alexandria Castle. But why? Didn't you just say we should get on the ship? Yeah, I know. Trust me. Uh, Tarzan boy? What is it, Vivi? Those dolls they were making underground. Did you think they looked like me? Not really, buddy. Not really. They're just dolls, Vivi. It's moving. What the heck is Steiner up to? Alright, we have to get on, Dagger. A ship that's not going to Lidlum? I don't have time to explain. Come on. This way! Hurry up! You have nothing to worry about. Hurry before she takes off. But... I'll take you to Lidlo. I promise. Fine, I'll get on. It's taking off. Oh, soft. Ah! Hey, I had to take a grab at any opportunity I can. Just get on up there. Get on up there. Do, 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 do. It's Vivi the Magical Man! Come on, it's not like I did it on purpose. There's a royal... Please, enough! There's that royal tone in your voice again. Hmm. Are you okay, Vivi? Feels like I'm going to be sucked into the sky. Let's go inside, Vivi. Alright. And you, stay out here. I trust you, Tarzan boy. Oh! I have the feeling she doesn't quite trust me yet. Yeah, maybe she'll reward me with a kiss or two if I try hard enough. <laughs> Whoa, are we ready? Tarzan boy! Oh! What is it? Something wrong? It's Vivi. Vivi? Uh, um. Wow, they're alive and they're moving around. Hello? Uh, some mages built in the village bring back the new ones? Oh, Vivi. Uh, um. Uh, Vivi. Hello? Vivi! <laughs> oh. Were you able to talk to any of them? No. It's like... They don't even... see me at all. I tried. Again and again. But... 
It won't even turn around. Vivi. I need to go upstairs for a bit. I gotta turn the ship around before it reaches the castle. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Keep an eye on Vivi, okay? Who's behind all of this? Yes, Vivi is designed after the Black Mages of the original games. Um, that was the purpose behind his design. Uh, the whole this whole game is meant to be kind of like a throwback to the uh, the old genre of Final Fantasy. It looks like a treasure chest, but it's actually part of the ship. Huh. That's odd. <laughs> I'm distracted by it too. I was too distracted to watch the chat for a wee minute because it actually was, um, it was a momentary moment of the ass robbery that I wanted to take part in. Also, the fact that I'm having to concentrate because my voice is starting to really rasp, and I'm, I don't know if we'll actually be playing this for much longer just because, um, what we'll do is I'm pretty sure I'll finish disc one because I think what's coming up is the end of disc one, but we'll see. Oh god. Mm. My voice is so wrecked. How could this happen? What am I to do? I never expected things to go so badly. I can't believe the ship took off without the princess. What will I say to Queen Bran? What the heck are you doing? You almost took off without us. That is because this ship's crew. Huh? Why, you? Where's the princess? In the engine room. She is on the ship? Yeah. All is well now. This ship is returning to the castle. You will be hanged for the kidnapping of a member of the royal family. Enjoy your freedom while you can. I don't care. You know what? I will not let you near the princess. Great. You do that. At last, Queen Bran is sure to be pleased. However, the princess would have been left behind without the thief's aid. I shall petition for the life sentence for honest behavior. Yes, that would be the honorable thing. But that would be... But, but that was because the crew wouldn't listen. I must run a background check on them. Ah, yes. It is my duty as a knight. What the hell are you guys talking about now? So what? What, Vivi? Uh, <laughs> this is what the statement of actually like it sounds like child porn or something is like that's mildly terrifying, dude. So <laughs> please do keep the context aware. What's wrong? Something stuck in your throat? You, you, you! <laughs> Look at that ass at you, man. You're not paying attention. You insolent fool! Turn the ship around! Ha! Ah, you ain't gonna get me, dude. I got a free hands on teal. I'm designed to jump around like this. I'll have your head for that! Ha! Ah, hey, I think we upset them. But they didn't respond until anything until now. You're the one who started this trouble. I apologize. Please wait while I take this fool into custody and turn the ship around. Protagonist, grab the... Grab the princess? Yeah. Well, no, she's um, she's 16. He's 16, so they're both around about the same age. He's just, he's just an ass-grabby little shithead. That's one of the things where he shouldn't be doing it, but... <laughs> I mean, context of the plot, she immediately shut his ass down for doing it. No! Baby! Are you okay? So... 
Number two was defeated by a small child. You are no match against my power. <laughs> Princess, stay there while I eliminate this child. Are you protecting him? <coughs> Nonsense. You are no different from mindless dolls. What can you do? Get out of my way. You dare to fight a black waltz. I said, get out of my way. Man. This is like the saddest part of this fucking game, man.
you're ready to fight again. Just how many Black Watsons do we have to fight? This is becoming ridiculous! I think that was the last one. How do you know? I... are you... He said Waltz, right? Don't you think number three would be the last one? No. We can see Southgate. She's gonna go for it. Please turn the ship around. The Black Waltz is heading straight towards us on an airship. He might crash into us. Dagger, Rusty's right. He's heading straight for us. Punch it. Go through the south gate. Don't be ridiculous. What if the gate closes on us? There's no way we cannot maneuver him in this cargo ship. We'll slide in before the gate closes and shut him out. That's our only chance. Rusty. Turn the power up to maximum of that ladder over there. Dagger, stay on course no matter what. Okay. I know we can make it. Yeah! 
gesture out of dialogue just because I felt like it. <laughs> <coughs> oh, goddamn. Oh, that hurt. And so we arrive. Host. Yes. Wandering freely. Um, uh, I don't know if we can keep turning around because it's going straight line. <laughs> but the air trade routes are all over the place. So the adventure has really, truly, finally began. This is actually where we've gone from the escape from uh, Alexandria to the Wild West to the first city that we need to take part in, or to, to, to take port in. So, yeah, guys, this is actually... This is Final Fantasy IX kicked in. This is actually me getting into it now. Ah, oh, man. I'm actually like, this is, I'm being playing this for the next three days straight. I know that for a fact. <laughs> I think we pushed it a little too hard. Why is it silent, people? We made it. Come on, cheer up. Southgate was badly damaged. It was my fault, wasn't it? Don't worry about it. They'll fix it up in no time. You idiot! The cargo ship was wrecked. We lost all the cargo, and Southgate was destroyed. I can't believe I played a part in this debacle. Steiner. Yes, princess. Falcon's Gate is right in front of us. boss for so long because nobody else has actually followed or subscribed since. Linlum, Grand Castle. So, I do believe we need to actually get to a save break at some point soon because uh, then, literally, because what we've just done, we played through the entirety of Disc 1 as far as I know of, yeah, this one ends with the Black Waltz fight at the gate. So, we are literally on the disc 2 now, so if we can find a spot that actually that can be convenient to save into, we'll probably save into it as a save point, and then we'll probably, I, I might take a, a little bit of a break from five hours tonight for a wee minute just to talk to you guys. Wow, this castle is huge. It's even bigger than Alexandria Castle. Yeah, they don't call it Limblum Glen, Grand Glass. Truly amazing! I'm about to see red rosebuds you fit in here. 
really old airship. in such a shabby airship. And look at the company you keep. How dare you accuse him? How dare you accuse the princess of lying? The princess was forced to come here under extreme circumstances. Then show me some kind of proof of your royal heritage. Very well. This pendant is a... This pendant is it a falcon claw? No. The shape is a little different. Go on, Mr. Minister Artan. What such a filthy looking elf? They wouldn't have, been, wouldn't have been so suspicious of us. Hey, I'm not the idiot with the loud voice and the dirty, rusty arm. What? Yeah. Back off, Peggy. What is going on? So, we have an unknown visitor who wish to see the region. And one of them is carrying a pen that looks like a falcon. You're dismissed. I'll take care of this. Yes, sir. Uncle Artania! It's good to see you, princess. Please follow me. Reach him as well. just a tiny bit just so that they don't uh, interfere with my dialogue quite as much. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> Limlum Castle has three levels, all connected by this lift. From the base level which lies below the mist, you can take a trolley to the harbour, to the Black Gate. Ships hardly arrive at the harbour anymore since travel by air has become so popular. The mist poses great danger, so we've sealed up everything. Just above the base level is the mid-level. You can ride the air cab from the mid-level to go to town. The upper level contains the royal chamber and conference room. Access to that level is restricted because the regent himself resides there. Hey, Dagger, what's Regent Sid like? I've lived in Lindblom a while, but I've never met him. Regent Sid is very wise. He's all he always thinks I can. He may seem a bit odd at times, but he is very dependable. He and my father were best friends. I wonder if he will even listen to what I have to say. Don't worry. We're not leaving until he does. We will arrive at the upper level shortly. Sire, Princess Garnet of Alexandria wishes to see you. Princess, is something wrong? 
The regent isn't here, and I don't know who... Take a look at the throne! Huh? What in the world? Greetings! Oh! 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 Agla! Sire! What? I... Dagger, what's wrong? Why aren't you talking to... Uh... Jeez, that's an Oglob. Wow, even Oglobs are bigger than them. What is the meaning of this? How dare you greet the princess like this? Get that repulsive bug off the throne immediately and call the regent. Please settle down. You, you are before the regent. What? Enough of you, your nonsense. Steiner, stand down. I remember that mustache. Is that really you, Uncle Sid? Yes, greetings all. I'm Sid Fabu, Regent of Lidlum. I knew it was you. I recognized your pendant's description. It's so much like my falcon claw. I'm delighted to see you again, Garnet. You have truly got begun, my fine lady. I, on the other hand... Allow me to explain. About six months ago, someone snuck into the castle and attacked the Regent in his sleep. Unfortunately, we were too late. The Regent had been transformed into an Oglop, and his wife, Lady Hilda, was abducted. My goodness! Whoever pulled this off had to be highly skilled. Like me! <clears throat> I bet it was you! That's not possible. How can you be sure? Do you know who we are? Of course, I may be a bug, but I'm still the ruler of Libra. Uncle Sid, I appreciate you seeing me on such notice. I desperately need to speak to you about my mother. That's what I figured. But I'm sure it can wait till tomorrow. Why don't you all get some rest for today? Thank you. It is time for lunch. Please follow me. Uh, the Civil War poster? It's actually a uh, standee from um, a movie theater. I just happen to have. It's covered over a bunch of trash. That's <laughs> the statue out there. Or actually, what it does say is Raw Lymphic. <laughs> Raw Lymphic. I can't stand the food in the castle. It's way too high class for my tastes. How can anyone get full on that stuff? Cheap food here is so much better. Today's special is Soup de Silence. Eh, not bad. The soup of silence. Yo, Pops, I'll have the stupid special. Who said that? Tarzan boy, I figured it was you. How you been? All right, I guess. Have a seat, your soup will be ready in a minute. Do you mind you're standing in everyone's way? Wow. Oh, okay. Hey. Yeah, do you want a drink? How about you and me go for a cruise on an airship? Really? An airship? Sounds like you've never been on one. You know, Lindlum is quite a sight from high above. Hey, monkey tail. You're disturbing the other customers. What the? You've got a tail too, rat face! After I finish my drink, I'm gonna kick your ass. Hey, Dozen Boy, take it outside! <laughs> Long time, Dozen Boy. Hey, what's up? Wait a minute. You forgot my name? No, 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 I remember. I remember. It's, uh. It's, uh. You're Helga, right? Wrong. Uh. Christine? No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You used to live next door to me. Uh, how's it going, uh. Rachel? And <laughs> you've really got a. Uh, you nasty little. Come on, I'm just kidding. You know, I never forget a pretty girl's name. Race Barmissian. 
Gander, female, age 21. Dominant hand, lefty. Uh, Freya. Freya's gonna stay Freya. <laughs> I don't change Freya. Freya, I do love Freya. Freya's awesome. Um, ding! Freya, join the party. I need to find a save point. This is actually going on longer than I expected. So, how you been, Freya? Same old Tarzan boy. How long has it been? About three years. Hey, did you ever find out anything about your boyfriend? No. So, what brings you to Lindum? The Festival of the Heart. What else? It's a good opportunity to test my skills. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll find him someday. Aren't you participating? Nah, I don't think I'll pass. Lazy fuck. Are you ever gonna go back? I have no reason to return to Bermisia. There is nothing there for me anymore. So how's the queen? Is she still as vibrant as ever? Yes, but... Since father died, mother has been acting very strangely. I'm not surprised. <laughs> they loved each other so much. We haven't spoken much lately. Also, a suspicious man has been prowling around the castle. I don't know what's going on anymore. I fear that she might be planning something terrible. I've brought this matter to everyone's attention, but... And no one has taken me seriously. They all think I'm distraught over losing father. I understand why you're so eager. I'm happy that you came to me for help. At this point, I think you're the only person Mother will listen to. When I heard that Lindum's theater ship was coming to Alexandria, I decided to sneak on board and come here no matter what. I just never expected the crew to kidnap me. It was me. I was the one who ordered Tantalus to kidnap you. <gasps> I once promised your father <laughs> that should anything happen, I would protect you. We have known each about the disturbances in Alexandria for some time. But had we acted directly, it would have started a war. So I asked Baku for help, when he and I go way back. The play was the perfect cover to enter Alexandria and get you out. No one would suspect that them was behind it. We were <laughs> forced to take action because we knew that Sandria would never seek our help. I believe we were able to get you here. At the village of Dali, we... At the village of Dali, we saw numerous black mages. They looked like golems, controlled by some powerful magic. On top of that, they were being created under Alexandria's supervision. I don't know how they're related to Vivi, but if Mother is planning to use them for war... We won't let that happen. Even if she were to command an army of black mages, she won't make a move as long as we have our airship fleet. Don't worry. <coughs> Everything will be fine. I'm so sorry, Uncle. Now, now, come on, don't be so fungal. I'm helping you because I'm your Uncle Sid, not because I'm the Regent of Little. Thank you so much. What is this place? The heart and soul of Lydia. Our airship dock, this is dock number one, where we conduct our research. <laughs> but, where are the airships? Lonely, isn't it? We had a new airship model. <coughs> we had a new airship model in here about six months ago. It was our latest creation. It didn't require a mist to fly. The man who attacked you, was he the one who ran off of it? Good guess, but no. Actually, I met a lovely lady at the pub. Um... Huh? When Hilda found out about my little affair, she used her magic and turned me into an oglop. Then she stormed off in the new airship, which I named Hildegard. Pretty ironic, eh? <laughs> yes, yes. All because of the monster between my legs, I've become a monster myself. Yes, sadly it's true. 
She hasn't been back since. From... I've been working on Hildegard too, but it hasn't been going too well. My mind just isn't the same as an Oglop. I'm hopeless, to be honest. But that doesn't mean I can't help you. I'll do my best for Alexandria. Thank you, but with Southgate badly damaged, I don't know how we can get to it, Alexandria. Oh, don't worry. Southgate is being repaired as we speak. Once the repairs are finished, we'll go to Alexandria. Yes, I'm sure Mother will finally open her eyes to the truth. Hmm. Uncle, is something wrong? Huh. No, I was just thinking. But how the theater ship crashed. Bako sure has good men working under him. Good night after I actually see where I check. It was pretty nice. <gasps> hey, baby. What's up? Good morning. You're up early. Lindlum is a really busy place. I I've never seen this many people before. I, I wonder where people go if they want to be alone. Lindlum has always been like this. People come here from all around over the world. Some of them come here to become airship engineers, sculptors, actors. Wow. I don't even remember why I came here in the first place. <laughs> Before I knew it, I was living here with my Tantalus brothers. Do they still live here? Yeah, our hideout is in the theater district. I'm gonna go there right now. Do you wanna come along? Um, that's okay. I'm gonna go look around town. Okay, but I'll give you a little tour. No, it's okay. I can go by myself. Oh. Okay. Go find yourself a cute girl, alright? Teach me, monster! My first synthesis lesson! Alright, right. Are we going bro? Because this one's actually a slightly different thing. It's not mo all right, it's, it's still monster, so we're gonna bro it. Alright. Uh, we're brewing the shit out of this. Okay, <laughs> mm. dokie. Okay, dokie. I got this. I got this. I'm all out of water, so I'm going to buy it. I'm going to get one as soon as we go for a break after this. Teach me, monster! My first synthesis lesson! Yo, bro! Bro! Hey, bro! What you going to teach me today, bro? Lots of neat stuff, bro! Today, I'm going to talk about the synthesis shop. Uh, synthesis shop, man. <clears throat> In addition to regular shops where you can buy and sell items, there's a synthesis shop where you can synthesize items to create new items. All you need are two items to serve as a base and a few gill to cover labor, bro. The items you need and the amount of money you pay vary for each synthesized item. Here are some examples. Simple example, the ogre. Required item, two mage mashers and 700 gill. Desert boots, a leather hat and leather shirt, 300 gill. If you haven't been to the synthesis shop yet, go check out the one in Lindlum. And speaking of synthesis, I'll tell you a big secret. Long ago, I heard rumors that there's a legendary synthesis who could create the best item, bro. Do you know where he lives or what he looks like? But I don't know. Gosh, bro, you sure know a lot. Yo, bro, yeah, I know. I know, bro. I just woke. <laughs> All right, so that's an arm monster <laughs> tip. Uh, we need to find. Oh, I need to find a sea of mogs soon. <laughs> it's getting to the point where it's getting ridiculous. Oh, there he is! <laughs> All right. So, guys, we're actually on to see. We're on to this too. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff to do. Linlum is a cavalcade of places to see. So we've got a fair amount of time to actually spend here. Um, so I hope you guys have actually been enjoying the show so far. Uh, <laughs> I, the, I wanted to kind of stop right after. We got past the uh, gate, but of course, you know, gameplay continued on to this point, so now we can finally get a save. Save, Cabal? Uh, no worries, Moodoon. We're gonna save with you. We're singing the save song now. We're taking a break with the save. We're taking a break with the save. Yes, we are! Thank you very much for watching. I will see all you dudes in the next episode of Final Fantasy IX. Probably the rest of this, too. So see you then. Bye!